Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to the 10 world, 10 world's most dangerous roads that actually exist. And this was suggested by, I don't know if it was this specific video, but this, I think it was by the Riches, the, the original one, but I just sort of thought, yeah, their channel isn't always the best and sometimes it just, they, they, their commentary is just a bit annoying to be honest. So I just sort of picked this one. I did pick this one, not sort of. And, um, yeah, I've never done a video like this before, but I'm intrigued because I know there are some crazy, crazy roads out there, like some dangerous as hell roads. I remember watching Top Gear, if any of you know what that was or know what it is. I don't know if it's shown in the US, but they used to go on like drives and or journeys and some of the roads that they were forced to go on were absolutely crazy. And I'm sure they wouldn't even compare to some of these ones. So I'm interested in seeing just how like just how dangerous some of them are like the title says but we're gonna get into this um this actually does remind me of suggestions that i had before people were suggesting for me to react to it's a, it's a program or it's like a series that's like sort of involving the da most dangerous walks from home from school like it's like a i don't know is it a show on the channel or something that people want me to react to but maybe this could be something that i could react to in future again it's probably not the same thing but it just reminds me of that and i don't know just Maybe if you know what it is, suggest it in the comments, basically. But let's get into this. Quick shout out to my Instagram or Twitter. Links in the description for those. Save my um, Patreon. Links will there for those interested. But let's just get into this one. Man. The petrol heads of the world have a lot to thank the Romans for. But some roads haven't exactly aged well. And many of them weren't exactly all that safe to begin with. As a result of that, and a lack of funding for renovation, there are an awful lot of roads in the world that only a madman would be willing to drive down. These are the world's most dangerous roads that actually exist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 10, Atlantic Ocean Road. Have you ever wanted to drive somewhere that allows you to be in tune with nature? Then it might be time what for a trip off? on the Atlantic Ocean Road, the Atlantic Road. Bro, I'm just trying to avoid up a little bit. Bro, look at this, man. I mean, it look, maybe it's dangerous, but this just looks beautiful. This is crazy, man. Where is this? Which took six years to build in the early 1980s, is on the Norwegian coastline, Norway. and offers a driving experience unlike anything you've possibly experienced before. When you're on the Atlantic Road, you'll feel like you're on a 22-mile roller coaster. There are curves, twists, turns, and unpredictable weather conditions that can throw a spanner in the mix when it comes to visibility. Want to get hit by a freak wave while you're basically driving in the ocean? <laughs> And this is the road for you. It might what be a dangerous fuck? road that makes you feel like you're mere inches away from death, but it's also an exhilarating one with eight bridges and breathtaking views. If there's one thing that many people have learned the hard way, however, is that you should never drive on the Atlantic Ocean Road during lousy weather. Is this a real picture? How do they even like, build it like this? What the fuck? It can end poorly for those behind the wheel. Now it's time for the odd topic. We don't know where this road is, but upon seeing the photo on another YouTube channel, we simply could not believe our eyes. The road seems to be darting straight through an ocean, almost as if Moses himself had parted the waters. The photo was sent to us by a loyal subscriber to our channel, who says the road used to exist, but that in recent years the water has swallowed up the road whole, wow. meaning it no longer exists. To be honest, we don't know whether to believe him or not. How is the water staying parted? Do you think this road exists? Let us know. Remember yeah, to comment down below think. with the hashtag odd topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number nine, Commonwealth Avenue, the Philippines. Commonwealth Avenue. The name doesn't sound very deathly or dangerous, does it? Don't let this road name fool you, however, for it's a killer. Commonwealth Avenue is a 7.7 .7 mile highway in Quezon City, Philippines. It spans six lanes at its narrowest point and 18 at its widest. It is well known as the widest highway in the Philippines. However, its That's lack of signage and recognition of road rules by its users means it's not a road that everyone who travels it is going to survive. There are no dedicated bicycle or motorcycle lanes, no stop or give way signs, and poor drainage. Public transport operators on this intensely busy highway also have no regard for road rules, right stopping there. when and where they feel like it to pick up and drop off passengers. Chaos. The killer highway, as it's commonly called, has a 37 mile speed limit, but that doesn't stop around five accidents on Look at this area here, man. What the every fuck? day, and nearly 7,000 deaths annually. God Many damn. of those who lose their life on the highway are bystanders, pedestrians, and cyclists who stop to attend to accident victims and end up in accidents themselves. Even though this road doesn't sound particularly desirable, it's the main thoroughfare to other cities and government agencies. Therefore, it's not one you can avoid if you live in the area. Number 8. 
James Dalton Highway, Alaska. The James Dalton Highway in Alaska may sound familiar to you for many reasons. It was featured on TV shows such fun? as Ice Road Truckers, America's Toughest Jobs, and World's Most Dangerous Roads. If that's not enough to convince you that this road are... means business, oh then days. nothing will. The James Dalton Highway is a 414 mile stretch of road in Alaska that runs north of Fairbanks up to Dead Horse. It's near the Arctic Ocean, Prudho Bay, and the Prudho Bay oil fields. Since 2008, it has claimed six lives, including an experienced truck driver. Dalton Highway, as it's known for short, is thought to be one of the most isolated highways in the entire country. Oh, I guess that's why then, like, if you crash or if you run out of petrol, you're just stuck there, aren't you? That's probably why it is the most dangerous. There are only three towns along the 400 plus mile road, and it features mainly gravel with steep grades along the way. Anyone who decides to take this road is urged to take survival gear because recovery and rescue could be hours away should you need it. Jeez. This dangerous and remote highway is still relatively well used. At least 250 trucks, such as those featured on Ice Road Truckers, travel it in winter daily, and around 160 each day in the summer. It's also so there's a lot of pe there's a lot of trucks going through it. So maybe not then, because obviously if you get stuck, surely there's going to be another truck coming in the next few hours. Maybe not even hours. So within a few miles again, of the Arctic not. Ocean, which means commercial tours are not uncommon either. If you find yourself navigating down this dangerous and possibly deadly highway, take care. Drive with your headlights on and consider not even driving it at all. That's pretty Number cool. Number seven, Goliang Tunnel Road, China. The village of Goliang in the Henan province of China had long been cut off from civilization by the imposing Taihang Mountains. To make it easier for the current villagers and those in the future, a group from the village came together to carve a road into the mountain. Many of them sold their livestock to buy the materials and tools they needed. Then, 13 of them got to work. One died during construction, but the remaining 12 took to the mountains with hammers and chisels to carve Jeez. out a 4 meter wide, 5 meter tall road. They've done this themselves. The going was tough. And even though the Goliang Tunnel Road is only 0.75 miles long, it was carved out at a rate Look of one this. meter every three days in This is insane. Some stages. The villagers finally finished the dangerous road on May 1st, 1977. Since then, the village has become a tourist attraction, and the road has even appeared in films. It has also rightfully earned its name as the road that does not tolerate mistakes. Given the open edges and massive drop to your death, they aren't lying. Number six, <laughs> Fairy Fucking Meadows hell. Road, Pakistan. Have you ever had a near-death experience? Every inch of the 10 miles you drive or bicycle along Fairy Meadows Road in Pakistan is a near-death experience. Once named the second most dangerous road in the world. Bro, what? One slip of you off. What the fuck? I just want to search something quickly. The most dangerous in the UK. I just got to see how it compares. A6. I guess that's just um, a highway, right? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know then. <laughs> I can't really find it. But I mean, this, if this is it, there's nothing, this doesn't even compare, this just doesn't even come close, man. What the fuck? This mountain road is not for the faint-hearted. It's a high mountain track in Pakistan's Gilgit-Baltistan region that's both slippery gravel and not maintained. There are no guardrails to stop you from falling to your death, and the road is only wide enough for one standard vehicle, and no more. Get it wrong, and this mountain road at 3,300 meters above sea level will make sure you don't go home to your family. Bro, What's that more, is insane. The higher you get, the more narrow the road becomes. How? If <laughs> Sorry, I've just made a massive noise. How? How is this a lot? I mean, <clears throat> I guess different countries have different laws and it's hard to build. So it's a cheap way to do it, but I just can't imagine. Imagine having to go through like drive throughs and there's probably some people who go like on this road every single day. I can't wrap my head around that. That is absolutely insane. Eventually, there's only <clears throat> enough room for a bicycle. The Ferry Meadows Road begins on the Karakoram Highway and ends in a village called Tata. This is number five? It's closed in the summer and is at its safest, if you could call it safe, in June and July. Since Nanga Parbat Mountain villagers built the road hundreds of years ago, it has not seen any repairs. Now, it's a trekker's paradise, providing entry for those who want to climb the ninth highest mountain in the world, Nanga Parbat. Number five, Sichuan Tibet Highway, China. Out of every 100,000 drivers who navigate the 1,330 miles of the Sichuan Tibet Highway, 7,500 will not make it home. With rock slides, Jeez. avalanches, poor weather conditions, and treacherous avalanches. driving conditions, it's a white knuckle road that will almost guarantee your heart in your throat at every hairpin corner. The Sichuan Tibet Highway begins in Chengdu of Sichuan and ends up in the west side of Lhasa, Tibet. 
It's a 36 hour drive without any delays, but can leave thousands of motorists stranded for weeks. It's beautiful. It's though. also a standard route for truck drivers. There's no denying that the scenery is spectacular on this highway. Peaks rise skyward and open landscapes with plat. Fucking hell, though. Look at this, man. This looks like something from the dinosaur ages. Just cut this bit out. Just cut this bit off. Like, just so you can't see the car or the road. And, mate. This is, you can just imagine the dinosaurs just roaming this kind of Tales area. And happily grazing yaks are a common sight. However, you can't spend too much time gazing out the passenger window at the 14 mountains, dozens of rivers and forests, as the road loves to throw some challenges your way. Landslides can travel down cliffs when you least expect it, and adverse weather conditions can make the, the route fuck? almost impossible to travel at times. As the road isn't paved, a little bit of rain can cause thick mud to form and trap hundreds of cars. You're going to need to pack your board games for this road, for if you do get stuck in a jam, you, or at least your vehicle, can be there for weeks. Getting stuck sure beats the alternative, however. Weeks. In 2011, a bus <laughs> veered off the road, dived into a ravine, and killed all 16 on board. Fucking Number four, Jesus. Highway to Hell, Alabama. To look at US Highway 431, down the Alabama-Tennessee line to Dothan, Alabama, it wouldn't send chills up your spine. But look a little closer, and this 353 mile road, aptly named the Highway to Hell, is making motorists second guess their travel movements. Even though it's not a scary road to drive, it's a dangerous one, and has been named as so by the World Health Organization. Every year, tens of thousands of people die on that stretch of road. In 2011, that figure reached over 33,000. The main hazards in a year or all together are high speeds, lane changes from 2 to 4 and 4 to 2, and poor visibility. There may not be any genuinely challenging road conditions, <clears throat> but the many hundreds of crosses that line the highway are proof that the highway to hell deserves its, its nickname again. and its place as number four. Number three, Halsema Highway. Even though the paving of Halsema Highway in 2011 has made this dangerous stretch of road safer, it's still one that will keep your heart racing for all 93 miles. Those who travel this highway from Baguio City to Bontoc have to prepare themselves for drop-offs around 1,000 feet steep crags, winding roads, mudslides, landslides, and falling rocks. If that's not enough to make you turn back, then it will surely be the speeding buses that can put small vehicles in danger. Commuters, <laughs> tourists, and transporters the buses all in the chaos yeah. highway, Fuck me. and many haven't made it home to their families. Debris tumbles from the surrounding mountains onto the road, and low-lying mist and fog make visibility challenging at the best of times. You then, of course, have to combat the Cordillera Central Mountain oh, Range, look at which this. fortunately is far safer today than it has been in the past. If it rains, you're in for an even more challenging time, as both mudslides and slippery roads cause problems for motorists. This highway may be the main artery for the Cordillera road system, but we're sure most people will be scoping out another route just in case. Jesus. Number 2. Luxor Al Hargada Road It can be a little scary driving at night, but what if it wasn't only the road trying to kill you, but everything on and around it? The Luxor Al Hurghada Road, which connects southern Egypt's city of Luxor to Hurghada, looks innocent, but is anything but. Once night falls, fatal accidents are dime a dozen, due to everyone driving with their lights off. Why? What? Because if they don't, bandits and terrorists will see the car lights and sh- Oh my god, bro. I didn't even factor that in, like, you've got, like, certain areas that have got, like, terrorists and, like, again, bandits trying to rob you or take whatever they can. Oh my god. <laughs> I, d I thought it stopped at like mudslides and stuff, but no, it can get even worse than that. Cars driving without lights, are you nuts? Are you actually nuts? Shoot at the drivers. The road, with no holdups, will take under five hours to drive on, but it's a hard stopping five hours. If you drive with your lights off, you're putting yourself and others at risk, but if you don't, you could end up dead or wounded anyway. The oh. problem is, Luxor Al Hargada Road is the main route between two terrorist hubs. It's a well maintained and asphalted road but targeted by those who attempt to undermine the tourism industry. In 1997, Jihad Talat al-Fath Islamic Group gunmen shot 62 German tourists in Luxor along that road. While nothing of that magnitude has happened since, what it goes to hell? show just how a simple road can have some hidden dangers. Number 1. North Youngest Road, Bolivia. Bolivia. Before significant upgrades, the North Youngest Road in Bolivia, also known as Death Road, was a road you'd write your will and testament for before you began your journey. Every year, it was claiming the lives of over 1,200 people, missed. or the same population oh, as Sun man. Valley, Idaho. Imagine losing an entire city's uh. population on one stretch of road. Due to the narrowness and treachery of it, the area adopted a left-hand drive policy. The rest of the country drove on the right, but driving on the left allowed drivers to know where their wheel was with regard to the edge of the road. There were also no guardrails to... That's interesting. 
They've changed the whole rules of the country just to match this road. That shows how absolutely crazy it is. It's obviously a good thing to do, but... Stop you yeah. from falling over the edge. And fog and rain would hinder your efforts to drive safely at every turn. Over a 20-year period, a safer route was built until its completion in 2006. A significant sector of this deadly road is now removed from the North Youngest Road. Would you be game enough to travel oh, on any damn, of these? Man, these were crazy. I was not expecting this. Odd topic, Red Sea, of course. Don't believe me, just look at the name on the truck at the front. It says Moses. I would die of a heart attack driving between a freaking ocean. I can barely drive on a bridge going over water, for Christ's sake. Just watching this, it's giving me a severe panic and anxiety attacks. Who else goes to the comments to see what they say? I got anxiety looking at these roads. Who my anxiety is through the roof. Some places are in the world that we have not seen yet. I'm driving along a house semi highway for for so many years. Thank God for always protecting me on the way. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, at that point, I can't blame you because God damn, it must be scary to have to do that every single day. I'm scared of roads that are near water. The most cliff ones only give me anxiety if the car's going too fast on the railing. But even if there's a railing, you can still like crash off or whatever. I've seen plenty of roads in the Appalachian Mountains near Cumberland Gap that look like they belong on the list. Yeah, man. Appalachian, sorry. But yeah, man. these were crazy. I was not expecting it to, some of these to be as nuts as they were. And there to be like landslides or like bandits, all these different things. But you got to factor it in, right? But yeah, crazy, crazy video. If you want more reactions like this, suggest what you want to see in the future. And I mean, yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.